Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Today, we're going to an abandoned mine apparently, or at least we're going to make our way to an abandoned mine, which I think we made it to when we first came here. We went there and we couldn't get in because there was like, actually there wasn't even a door or anything, right? Okay, we fought all these enemies before. They're not much of an issue. That's where we fought that guy before. All right. That makes sense now. I was wondering where the hell we saw him earlier. I wasn't sure if it was part of a quest or actually just something we ran into. All right, so let's head up. There's no new monsters at all. And we're actually getting like very minimum experience from these guys anyways. The gate is cured with the heavy chain and padlock. This looks like the entrance to the abandoned mine. It kind of reminded me of the Malka mine, except with the fact that it's all deserted. It seems that this place was abandoned quite some time ago. The padlock and chain are all rusted. It doesn't look like the gate has been opened recently. Which means there's probably no there's no possibility that the sky band is entered through here. I wonder if there's the if that's why the army never investigated the place. You're probably not gonna find any clues searching around in an old mine, that's for sure. Dots? What's wrong, Estelle? Maybe it's just me, but do you feel any airflow out here? When you say out here, do you mean the mine? Yeah, that's right. Let's see. Josh, what's Joshua? Wesh, what's the tip of the, his index with his tongue and held it out? Does, does that work? Dots? You're right, Estelle. It's rather subtle, but there's air flowing out there. A lot of here. Just like I thought, huh? Sometimes your senses can be surprisingly sharp. You know that. I wonder if you get that from your father. My dad doesn't have anything to do with it. And but <laughs> dad, about that. I, I'm starting to really want to like voice her as like a my dad doesn't have anything to do with it like oh my god <laughs> like anytime she says something like that but don't forget about that aren't you more interested about uh, but forget about that are you more interested in what's inside the old this old mine there's certainly a possibility that it connects to somewhere it's probably worth checking out well in that case let's bust this lock off hey don't you don't even think about doing that for now we better head back to the village and talk to the talk with the elder shara he might have the key. You're no fun, Shara. I agree. You're no fun, Shara. I guess I gotta go back to the village? Is there a fast travel option? Because that would be dope. No? I remember the days when teleport spells were a thing, and then fast travel became a thing, and then, like, I just kind of got reliant on fast traveling. That made my life really easier. Kronos, why aren't you just cutting the one you get back to the village? Look, I don't know if there's going to be any cutscenes coming up. I'd imagine that there would be. But then again, I could just be wrong. The village is... The village is right here, right? No, the elder's right here. Motherfucker, where, where are you? Where is your husband? Grave. Okay, good. I mean, he's old enough to be in a grave, but... We don't have to do that right now. Yo, dog, give me the key. So this is where you're all raising, rising, reason, whatever. Oh, it's you young braces, is it? Well, this is a rather extravagant, extravagant grave for a small village like this, isn't it? It was etched to mourn all those who, all those souls we lost ten years ago. Since the Bose region is nearest to the Empire, it was the, it was in the thick of the fray. And this village lost a number of good people in the hostilities. That's terrible. <laughs> There's no need for you to get somber too, though. These days, cleaning this monument is just one of my daily routines. But I guess you wouldn't have come up here if you didn't think there was something I could help you with, right? Oh, right. There was something we wanted to talk to you about. But before that... Would you mind if we paid our respects as well? I guess so. Sure. I know we don't have any flowers to give, but we'd at least like to offer up our prayers. Oh, I see. No, of course not. I don't mind. I'm sure those looking down from above would be overjoyed by the gesture. So you say there might be some clues in the old mind, huh? I know for certain that soldiers didn't check inside. After I heard Louis' story, it really got me thinking. We'd like to check the place out just in case, so would you mind lending us the key to the entrance? The key to the padlock, hmm? Give me a minute here. I gotta phase out of my seat and come up here. I'm sure I put it in the drawer. 
Oh, right, here it is. Okay, this should get you inside. Wow, this key looks ancient. Many thanks, Elder. This will really help a lot. Don't mention it. We are always indebted to the Bracer Guild for their help. It's only natural that we would try and return the favor. Thank you. If anyone we dealt with with uh, dealt with were as cooperative as you, it'd make our lives a lot easier. We'll be sure to let you know if anything if we find anything. I would appreciate that. Can I just am I going back? Should I just cut to the mine? I made it back. <laughs> Nothing happened. Gate is secured with heavy. Yeah, I know. That's why we borrowed the key. I was actually expecting the key to break off in the padlock. Phew, that was one heavy gate. Let's have a look inside, shall we? I don't know about Sky Bandits, but we can I can definitely sense monsters in here. Everyone stay alert. Alright. I'm always alert. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, new monster. I think. Are those just... I think those are just palette swaps from... Murder Crab! I think those are just palette swaps from, uh... The monsters from the Melga Mine, right? That broke through? Wow, we got, like... No damage going on. Right, there you go. Nice. I'm a big fan of that. A lot of water in Earth. Only one carapace, though? I know how I feel about that. So this bridge is broken. That's the doorway. Don't want to go there just yet. Let's check out the other side. Looking for some treasure here. Any treasure will do. It's another broken bridge. I mean, I know the feeling. I break bridges all the time. Well, mostly burn them down, but... Actually, that's not completely true. I, I'm probably... Sh I probably have burnt some bridges in my day. But I do try to, like... When it, like, comes to work, if I'm leaving the place, I definitely try to leave on good terms. Because you never know. You might need to go back one day. That was the... God damn it. But yeah, you wanna you wanna leave on good terms. You don't wanna like really screw things up. And like, even though legally they're not supposed to like say shit about you in like a review, or not review, like a reference. Um they do <laughs> sometimes. But at the same time, they uh if a place calls someplace, there's like, hey, did so and so work there? And they go, Yes. It's like, can you tell us anything? No. That usually means, like, you did something wrong. So, I don't know, you just, you just kind of want to leave on good terms. And it comes with, like, friendship as well. You don't want to... Unless they really done something... Like, I hold grudges. I, like, really hold grudges at certain... Certain things I, I just, like, will not let go. But that's a fault of my own. At the same time, you know, if you had a fallen out with a friend... Maybe see if it's like worth it. I don't know. I don't know how we got onto this topic. Oh yeah, burnt bridges. Man, it's bright in here. Huh, isn't that the quite a style? Looks like we hit the jackpot. I feel like I should have saved. Forget about the heavy things and focus on food provisions and valuables. And hurry it up, will you? It's only a matter of time before someone finds this place. What's an airliner doing like... St Stell, really? <laughs> really? What's an airliner doing in a place like this? I guess that kid wasn't seeing things after all. It looks like an area that used to be used for shipping mining. Or ship, uh, strip mining. It certainly turned out to be a great place to hide something of this size. Yeah, who would have thought it to look here? And look at that. Aren't they loading the airline cargo onto their ship? Let's worry about that later. We gotta figure out a way to bag these guys before they get away again. So this is our third trip, huh? Man, can... Uh, Don can be a real slave driver sometimes. Oh well, once this is all taken care of, we'll be able to sit back and negotiate a nice fat ransom. Hold it right there! Who in the... 
The scorching flames of justice shall never fade away as long as evil thrives in this world. The League of Extraordinary Bracers have arrived! Huh? The League of... What? You bonehead, why do you always get carried away like that? What's with you two? Now I look like a big fool saying stuff like that alone. You're the one of uh, the ones that Joseph had running with back in Roland. This can't be right. You're supposed to not be here this early. It can't be right? We're not supposed to be here this early? What the heck are you talking about? In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with the hijacking of an airliner and its passengers. I hope you at, uh, I hope for your sake you'll come along quietly. N now hold on just a minute. Are you trying to tell me that only the three of you came here to arrest us? See anyone else, bandit boy? So you're not involved with the others, then, huh? Then that simplifies things. Let's get them, boys! Y'all gonna die. I hope you know that. Alright, what are we dealing with? We got no weaknesses. This guy's weak to everything. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and... Dual do strike on the trash mobs first. Oh, dog, you have fucked up big time! Now, Shira, can you hit... You're gonna go... Yeah, we'll do that. Stay in the circle! You fuckers didn't... Oh, you got in the circle, you dumb fuck. Alright, next up, we got some flicker action coming for ya. I was hiding home for like three, but here you go. Next up, we got the hurricane! Alright, I was actually expecting you guys to die. But alright, we'll hit him again with some nice, juicy tornado action. I was kind of hoping the one on the below would actually like move up a little bit. How are we doing on health? We are actually wrecking these people. Like, I'm starting to feel bad. Were we too over leveled for this? Because it's beginning to seem like it. Do you just throw a grenade at me? Joshua. Oh, you can't reach him. Flicker? Flicker! Well, that was simple. Yeah, you give me more fire. I need more. I need nine more than that. Poison? Ugh, you guys are tougher than I thought. It's no wonder Joseph got beat by you three. Sweet talk won't get you anywhere, buddy. It's time to surrender and let the passengers go. <laughs> you really don't understand, know anything, do you? What was that you called yourselves? League of Exceptionally Dim or something like that? You're making fun of my awesome team name? You're dead! Look out! A grenade? Go ahead, blow it up. What is this? You gotta be kidding me, another smoke screen. <laughs> it's too bad about the rest of the cargo, but we'll have to live without it. Later, bracers. We should have disabled their ship first. I mean, with a well-placed, like, fire bolt, or whatever it's called, we probably could have taken on the engine, right? Gag, cough, cough. Ow, 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 something got in my eye! Don't worry, it's not poisonous. It looks like it's a, it was a typical smoke canister. The ship is already out of sight. This is getting really old. It's not, it's not once, but twice now that they've gotten away. If I get demoted for this at the guild, there's, no mu there's not much I can say in my defense. Oh, Shara. Quit acting like it was all your fault. We're responsible for letting them get away, too. If we get time to kick ourselves over this, then we get time to come to some other constructive... Uh, get, then there's got to be some other constructive things we can do. Well, well. You sound like you should be the senior bracer. Well... At least we were able to take back the airliner, so how about we have a look? The passengers may be inside. Right! I have a feeling that they're not. But I'm gonna like totally scope out the area before I do anything. That is clearly a hole. So this place goes further in then, huh? I just wanna check for treasure real fast. Okay. 
I'm wondering if there's like... I'm just checking. Yeah, you're not getting mad at me. Alright, let's go ahead and enter this place. Yeah, it's pretty cleared out. Wow, it's pretty barren here. There's not a piece of cargo left. Evidently, the Sky Bandits managed to make off with all of it. At least, judging by the looks of things. At any rate, we should do a thorough investigation of the place. That's not true, though. They said that there was cargo left. Here's a lift car. It looks like the same type of those at the at the landing board. Sky Bandits probably use this to move cargo. But I saw something. I wonder what this is. It's the Orville Engine Control Panel. It looks like the flow of Orville Energy was completely stopped. Oh, that mats with my head a little bit. No, I mean, there's still some stuff there, though, so they didn't get off with all of it. This is the pilot place. Pilot place, huh, Kronos? Not the cockpit, but pilot place. Here's the steering wheel used to pilot the ship. I wonder where the pilot could have gone. I mean, he's probably taken hostage. Or maybe he was in on it. it. Looks like this is the captain's seat. If these were any other circumstances, I would love to sit here. Don't even think about it. <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, the passenger seats, huh? This is the deck. What's this? Oh, okay. Wait, can we go on on this side? I guess so. Well, here we go. We're not gonna investigate the pot, uh, the passenger seats, huh? Oh, this is VIP? First class? It's bright in here. There's a lot of light shining into this place. That's all you have to say. Okay. Another... Passenger seat. Alright, nothing though? Oh god, did I miss something? I was expecting like a cutscene or something. What am I missing? I gotta be missing something. Okay, 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 okay. That's not good. Okay, back on, I guess. over here we already checked that out <clears throat> hmm nothing in here Guess check each seat area. Oh, okay, cool. We checked it over, but it looks like there's nobody inside. There's a high possibility that the passengers were transferred to the bandit's airship, and then to wherever their hideout is. Agreed. But this sucks. Right when I thought we had some clues, we're back to zero. Come on, cheer up already. It's not like every crew clue has completely vanished. Why do you think the Sky Bandits hid the airliner in the first place? Huh? As far as I can tell, the Oval Energy in the ship is complete, has completely stopped, which means that the Oval Engine ha was stripped from the aircraft. I know this because the Oval Energy in an orbit gradually recharges over time. Furthermore, the Sky Bandits made multiple trips to carry off a large amount of cargo. 
Considering the amount of time and risk involved, do you think it would have been more effective just to take the entire airline into the hideout? Yeah, that does seem a little bit odd that they did that. So why'd they hide the airliner here then? All I can think is that they did it in order to sort the cargo, move the hostages around aboard their airship, steal the orbital energy, keep clear of the army search party. That's a good question. Hmm. So, they did sort the cargo, and they most likely moved the hostages to their aircraft. Their orbital en engine is gone, and they did keep clear of the Royal Army search party. They seem to be having help. And the way uh, Kyle said, he was like, you're not supposed to be here right now. Kind of means that they were expecting this to show up eventually, just not while they were here. Like, we were going to get a clue eventually or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too far into it or expecting betrayal. Um, but yeah, let's uh, keep clear of the Royal Search Army. It's true the airliner is rather large and easily seen. And in that sense, it would be, seem highly likely that they would leave it in a different place than their hideout. However, that alone couldn't be considered a decisive reason. For my guess, I would imagine that their hideout is slightly in a slightly peculiar place. God damn it. It's the one that didn't look like a real answer. Maybe 10 or 15 arg in size? I don't know what that is. In short, in a peculiar place on which only a small aircraft like a Sky Bandage airship could land. Interesting. How about terrain covered with extremely extreme differences in height, like mountains or ravines? That seems like a likely place for a Sky Bandit's hat out. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking too. However, if that's the case, then we may be unable to do anything else. There's a possibility that their hideout may be in a place we can't reach on foot. Th then what can we do? Well, I have to say it, but we may have to share our conclusions with the army and ask for their cooperation. Because they're the ones with the portal ships. Patrol ships, not portal ships. What? Now we're trying to tell- now you're trying to tell us we should go crawling back to the army and ask them for help? Either way, we still have to report them- uh, report to them about the airliner. Personally speaking, I still think we should cooperate with the army, whatever their attitude may be. Especially if that means bringing the hostages back safe and sound. I guess you're right. This isn't a time or place to be letting my personal feelings get the best of me. For the time being, let's get back to the guild and report our findings to Lugrin. We should be able to contact Hawking Gate if we use the orbital telephone. Alright, I guess we can do that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below if you're not subscribed yet. And again, on my video section, check out some of the content and see if this to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.